What's up, my fellow Don Chichens? I'm the Lucky Show. Welcome to the Luca Show. And thank you guys for being patient as I was on the sidelines, patiently waiting to hit 707 subscribers, and I was being lazy, so I could give away these amazing, one-of-a-kind, soft, plush, Don Chichin hoodie, sweatshirts, goat material. That's right, these are Hanes, and they're gonna last for days, guys. So I hope you guys stay tuned to the end of the video to see how you're gonna exactly pick up one of these amazing, glorious Don Chichin hoodies. I know you guys want one. So, in the meantime, what the hell are we gonna be doing? I wanna take this in a different direction a little bit. I wanna be a little bit more serious. People say I'm a little too lighthearted on the show. I don't really get deep into some of the serious, more disturbing topics in the hobby. So this episode, I'm gonna take a look at the dark side of the hobby room, this hobby room, because it's like a homeless encampment in here, guys. I apologize in advance. It's embarrassing. I'm gonna do a reveal of my hobby room because there are coffee cups or my daughter's toys are in here. I've got display cases with no cards. I've got base cards stacked up over here. You don't even wanna see what's over here. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys what's over here. So it's gonna be an embarrassing episode for me, a bad look, but the good news is by the time I'm giving away these Don Chichen hoodie sweatshirts at the end of this episode, all this is gonna be cleaned up magically. So that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to the, to the end of this video when all this looks pristine. So let's get into it. Let's take a look at the dark side of my hobby room. Right. All right, so here is my hobby room, which is detached from the house. I got my daughter, Hanali, with me. Hanali, you want to say hi? No? Okay. Well, Hanali, go through the room and find all the stuff that's yours, okay? Just to take it out. Oh, no, not the money. Okay. Now, this is going to be, uh, you know, unedited. Just see how messy my office has gotten here. It's pretty embarrassing, guys. It's, it's not good. You found your favorite Mickey Mouse. All right. The money is mine, though. Okay, I can leave it there. As you guys can see, I've got the display cases with no cards. I've got that base city right there. All the base cards are where I put them. Just stacks of them. Got wax wine. Just a random assortment of things. We've got coffee cups. We've got my wax. I'm actually moving my wax out of here. Um, my FOTLs. My, my neighbor who's a sheriff is like, what are you doing? What is that? Yeah, take that stuff, get it out of here. Stacks of cards. Uh, there's my little workstation. More stacks of cards, boxes of cards. Sneakers now, Project 2020, trash. Oh man, got so much stuff to go through. I've got more sealed wax, ants. I had the ant issue, not in my office, but I don't know why I put the rain on, left it here. Uh, some fantastic body lotion. Uh, here's my merch, the Don Chichin stuff. You can't find any of your toys? I mean, you found some of it. All right, so a lot of work. Let's probably time-lapse some of the cleanup. <laughs> All right, so this is basically where base cards come to die in my office. So I'm going to go through them. Normally, I'd sort through these bad boys and then take out the cards. First one right off the bat, a little LeBron James action. We have a little Steph Curry. So these cards I would normally send off to ComC, but they're not doing their normal services right now. Ooh, some Lucas. Uh, but definitely there are a lot of cards that I can pick through here and sell somewhere down the line. Um, hopefully ComC gets their, their standard service up. But I see, you know, like Michael Porter Jr. Blues. There's a lot of status that I ripped, a lot of hoops from last year, some football cards now. So a lot of stuff to go through, pick out the good stuff. And, uh, oh, here's a little Luca Dirk. So, some good stuff here, Shea Blue. Obviously, I haven't picked through these. Um, some people would say, just sell it all and, you know, don't sort through it and have it fun for a buyer. But I, I like going through it. I'm just a little lazy. So, probably the next hour and a half or so, I'm going to be going through these. All right. So, most of the base cards I've gone through, I've put into boxes. But I actually need to sort through 
Uh, all of these cards, these are cards that I found interesting and took them out. And some of the cards, you know, I've got RPAs, I've got um, just gold cards that uh, snuck in there and I didn't even realize it. So a lot of stuff, even like some old school cards like that shack I've had since I was probably 12 years old. Um, so a lot of stuff to go through and organize still. I'm going to be here all day. <laughs> Some of the cards on my desk i'm just putting into this box yes it's somewhat cheating but these are cards i really don't know exactly what to do with them i've got like my my tuas up in here uh football cards they took out the mahomes because I'm, I'm keeping the mahomes and so i'm gonna store them away but yeah i've got just a assortment of random cards uh that i'm, I'm figuring out you know some will go to grading but right now with a uh, $20 service at PSA suspended, you know, I don't really want to send them into BGS, so I'm just holding on to it right now. Um, but yeah, again, this is a cheat box. I've just got a bunch of different random stuff. I got optic previews that I'm chasing. Harry Giles, he's moved on to Portland, and, you know, I'm still emotionally attached to these cards, so it's, like, hard for me to sell these off. So they're in the, uh, I don't know what to do with box bunch of good stuff in here. DiVincenzo's, you know, it's no Curry's, no Lucas or anything like that. Uh, yes, it's a cheap box. I'll figure it out. All right, time for the big reveal. Jeez, I need some WD-40 on that door. But, oh, you can smell the freshness, guys. You can smell it. Look at this wax organized to the top. I've got a clean desk, no drinks anymore. Oh yeah, I've got bubble mailers for days. Note guys, do not buy the 500 pack of bubble mailers. I've had it for like a year and I still probably have 300 bubble mailers. Not worth it. Don't care how cheap it is per bubble mailer. Got, I see the top of my coffee table. That's a, a crazy sight to see. I've got that box still I need to go through, but whatever. I've got my cards organized here. My base cards are all boxed up and organized. Got some sneakers on display. Look at those shiny King's cards looking down on me, blessing me. I've got some kids' cards, the cards that my kids made me. Being a good dad, displaying that. Check out that sweet Lulu. For the most part, everything has been cleaned up. Feeling good. That's all it. Oh shit. All right, I am all done. I am satisfied with the hobby room. It's looking clean. The dust bunnies are gone. Everything is as organized as I can make it. I'm not the most organized person in the whole wide world, so I'm satisfied with this. And uh, you know, I'm glad I did it because I found a bunch of stuff behind my desk. Yes, I had a redemption card. I'm not sure if you guys can actually see that. I'm the worst at focusing in. But it's a Kevin Durant, Dominators, FOTL, Purple Stars, Auto, expires in six months, so I'm glad I found that. Still Dust Buddies on it. And then this card, I literally have been looking for it for about four months, pretty much as soon as I purchased it. It's Zion's Cracked Ice Superstar RC with the RC logo on it. Like that touch. Panini went crazy with the RC logos this year. But I've been looking for this forever. It was in my daughter's box of soccer cards, so glad I went through that. And now, for those who have been waiting, it is time to reveal how you're going to pick up these sweet Don Chichen hoodie sweatshirts. And it's a classic game that we've done here. It's guess Luca's points and also guess his rebounds and assists. Rebounds will go first, then assists for tiebreaker purposes. And I want you to guess how many points Luca's going to score on February 25th against the Spurs. No, not the Spurs, sorry. Against the 76ers, February 25th. Guess Luca's points, rebounds, and assists. Top 10 closest to points 
will win one of these Don Chichen hoodie sweatshirts. If you need an extra large or a small, I've ordered more. Right now, I only have medium and large. Uh, wasn't thinking on that one. Those are coming. I'll be here in about 10 days. So if you need a size bigger or smaller, you just have to wait a little bit if you are a lucky winner. Anyways, good luck, guys. See you next time. Peace out.